Well, I'm shaving down a few toothpick type things here. Because on my Johnsonville, I'm going to wrap bacon around it. What do you think about that? This on around here. Okay. This is going to taste so good I can't hardly stand to wait any longer. But I'm going to cook this thing up right, I'm telling you what. This dog is ready. I don't want to eat the I don't want to eat the pins, the toothpicks though. Pull all those out of there. I'm even going to add some sauerkraut. That's good stuff. I camped a little bit, uh, or slept a little bit away from camp, and it, man, it got windy last night. It was, I'm, I'm sure, 30, 40 mile an hour winds or something. It was really pushing hard on the hammock, so. And I heard some commotion up at camp. But I thought maybe some animals in here rummaging around or whatever, but I can, I can see some stuff happened. <laughs> well, let's go take a look. <laughs> So anyway, last night when I went to bed, it was it was pretty calm, hardly any wind at all. But I'd left my PD shelter up. I really hadn't anchored it down much at all. But looks like some of my stuff came undone. And I think that's weird. Look, it wrapped itself around that log four times. <laughs> and... Uh, and it knocked some of the wood around. That uh, 64 ounce clean canteen bottle was not there when I went to bed. Knocked over my tripod, my chair. <clears throat> knocked over all this stuff over here. <laughs> then underneath here, it knocked down the, uh, the cooking irons the uh, iron tripod and everything. And the ro the other rope over there is wrapped around that other rock. So anyway, it must have been a windy night. <laughs> I think it's just kind of funny. I've been all over the place today. It's about noon right now. <laughs> and I'm just having breakfast. Then I hiked over in that, those hills over there. I hiked back up over this canyon here today. and <clears throat> So now I'm hungry. <laughs> so now I need to now I need to do something here. I'm gonna cook me a roast, I think, while I uh, while I'm up. There's a, kind of a ridge up here, a kind of a little area. I want to see if I can get up to. So I'm gonna have my breakfast, brunch, lunch, whatever it is. Uh, I'm gonna cook it on the Coleman stove. Well, there's my bacon getting started. Well, one of the nice things about these areas of sandstone is you can often make some tables like this one <laughs> and then uh, and the carrots I don't have to slice because I just bought baby carrots. Now this has been doing while I've been I've been getting my stuff ready for my roast while the bacon's been cooking. I can't ever do one thing at the set. I can't ever just stick to one thing, you know what I mean? Well, there's some nice bacon. 
ready to go for breakfast and when I cook this if I don't eat it all I just save it and make something else later in the day with it got my eggs going I'm gonna scramble those and then get this dumped out and I'm gonna start some French toast I just throw a few pinches in there another pinch over my shoulder and then fresh ground pepper <laughs> oh yeah that's gonna be really nice this bread's as thick as my finger this is some old farm bread it's actually a couple weeks old <laughs> it's actually a couple weeks old but should be perfect for this well there's my breakfast <clears throat> Some bacon, egg, nice butter and French toast. I'm gonna pour me some syrup on there and enjoy my breakfast here. Tell you what, I got some nice scenery. I'm back here in all these red rocks and stuff. I'm hiking up in those right after breakfast here. And I am pretty excited about it. I love camping out here, man. It is awesome. <clears throat> One of the real nice things about Camping this time of the year is no flies. <laughs> That's wonderful. Here we go. A couple of pounds of rump roast here. In there I dumped a little bit of bacon grease in the very bottom. Just, I don't know why, just for flavor I think. Got some Water in the bottom, salt and peppered. I'll be gone about three hours. All right. There we go, into the coals. And I'll just kind of cover it all up here. All right, it's all covered up in coals and everything. I'll be gone for three, four hours, whatever, something like that. And when we get back, it should be good to go. Anyway, that's my sleeping setup. And uh, I used my my footy thing again. That was so nice, incredible. <clears throat> the other thing I'm experimenting with is these are called runners, and the climbers use them and stuff. This is a 24 inch, uh, which I like for the HD ponchos. The 10 inch works good for the others, and they're made out of Dyneema, they'll hold 5,000 pounds, plenty, plenty sturdy. Using my whoopee sling to hang from the tree, and uh, that's my little setup right there, it's pretty darn nice. Yeah, you'd want to be careful. <clears throat> want to be careful going up through here in rainy weather. This is a wash right here. I'm wanting to get up on that ledge up there where the trees are. Without climbing with ropes and stuff, there's only one way I can see. It's up a rock fall at the end of this canyon. So. Hopefully I can make it up that rock fall. Well, this is what the trail's like. The whole bottom of the canyon is just rocks. <laughs> rock fall. Well, that's how I'm headed, the end of the canyon. That rock fall right there. See if I can get up there. I, I may not be able to, I don't know. <clears throat> I think it's steeper than it looks. And it looks to me like it's still Awfully steep. Well, here's where the trail goes. A rugged little spot through here. Well, that's where I've been coming from. Down through all that rock jumble and out the mouth of the canyon there. Well, here's the Boulder as big as a house, bottom of the rock fall. I'm glad to see this stretch of sandstone right here. 
that should get me past a lot of those cobbles more quickly and on up into there. So yeah, I'm winding my way up this little chute here and got to get up this little section right here. Very, very loose rock. Well, those trees are right here on top. That's the plateau I want to get up to. Now it's looking like I may not be able to connect over here. There's a lot of cliffs and stuff. I don't know, it looks like there might be one or two <clears throat> ledges that go around, but I'll have to look at them, see if I, they look doable. And nonetheless, it is quite the country. I did take a spill down there on the, coming up that chute. My foothold gave way and everything just Fortunately, I didn't go too far down. <laughs> but it banged up a little bit, but I'm okay. I'm a little worried about going back down because going back down is always harder than coming up. Well, I got some altitude now. <clears throat> I'm above that little plateau right there. And I think I can see a thread across on this ledge just above me. I might be able to get across onto that. Well, there I am. I made it over and uh, I put some flagging in this tree right here because I that's the only place that me, myself personally, that I could get back across that. And it'd be easier to look for that tape and get across than to go hunting again. So now, down in here, there's that plateau that I was looking at from my camp. I hope to get down here to where I can look back at where my camp is. So, now I gotta hunt for a way down off of this. All right, I can see that flag on that tree and then up on that ledge up there, I can see the next one. So, when you're flagging, you really wanna be able to see the next one from where you're at. So I'll show you the look down. I came up all this, came up right down there through the bottom of that. Man, that is a beautiful, that is a beautiful sight down through there, down the bottom of that valley. Man, this is just stunning up here. Just back from the bottom of that cliff right there is my truck, the PD shelter I can barely see right there, and hopefully my dinner's cooking. Man, it's just beautiful. I'm so glad I came up here. Well, now I might be able to see a little better. I got a little bit of the sun out of, out of the lens here. The camp down there and the valley winding on down through there. Man, that is just stunningly beautiful, I think. And then back up that way is the rock fall I went up. That bugger was so steep. Man, that is spooky. I hate to think, but I gotta go back down it again. Down where those big boulders are is the start of that rock fall. So I came all the way up and that's all vertical up there. Clear up there. And I had to go higher than where I'm at and come across. And then out onto this plateau. And then from this plateau here, I'm kind of where it splits. Goes down into there. And over there is where the Indian petroglyphs are along that wall, a couple hundred feet long of them. And uh, nice out through there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go out here on the edge. Too much. There we are, right there. Well, I have got to get a move on here because <clears throat> I've only got 45 minutes till the sun goes down over the mountain in the west. And I have got to, I have got to get off of here and 
down through that boulder falling out. Man, that was brutal. Made it back, hope dinner's ready. Whew. Yeah, I got, I got cuts all over my body, all over my arms, underneath my clothes, jagged rocks, sharp junipers and stuff like that, brush. It was quite the process. But I'm starved now. I hope dinner's done. Let's uncover this. See if it's any good. If it's not, I'll have to cook something else. Number of hours, three, four hours maybe, I guess. Let's see here. Oh. I better put a leather glove on. Definitely don't want to take that lid off. As long as there's any sand. Alright, let's see what it looks like here. Look at that. Potatoes are nice and nicely done. Looks like the roast is done. The juices are still boiling in the bottom there. I believe we got us a winner here. Well, there we go. See what that that meat is tender. Tender. And look at juicy. Look at that juice just sitting on there. Oh my gosh. That is so tender and juicy. Mmm. That is nice. I have to go on a hike more often if I come back to this. Mmm. Very, very good. Carrots are perfect. Mmm. They taste so good. Look at that potato. Nicely browned. Nicely brown from the edge of the pan. Mm. <laughs> this is just too good. <laughs> Can't cook it, man. It's just too good. Who can stand it, man?